GMAT official guide 2016 question number 150 it's already given that uh, this sequence P R S T U P R S T U uh, are a sequence such that each term after the first is equal to the sum of the preceding term and a constant so that implies if I have a constant let's say k then R equals to uh, P plus k S equals to R plus K and so on. Now, if I uh, actually rewrite this, I will end up getting P plus 2K and T will be P plus 3K and so on, right? And U will be P plus 4K. What kind of series is this? The moment question tells you that, hey, each term is uh, derived by adding a constant to the previous term, it clearly implies the given sequence is an arithmetic progression, right? It's an AP. So, the best way to go about such question is, once you realize it's an arithmetic progression, half job is done. All you have to do is figure out which of the following uh, three statements is also an arithmetic progression. So the best way to go about this would be take values for PRSTU rather than doing it conventionally. So let's take values for PRSTU or uh, arithmetic progression. So you can take anything. Uh, I'm taking a sequence of even number. So 2, 4, 6. 8 and 10. So P is 2, R is 4, S is 6, T is 8 and U is 10. Now let's see what are the changes we will have uh, if I put the value of PRSTU in the following statements. So let's have a look. So the first statement becomes uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. Now tell me is 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20 an arithmetic progression? So let's have a look. So the difference between here is 4, the difference here is 4, the difference here is 4, the difference here is 4. Since each term is equidistant, clearly first statement is an arithmetic progression. That means eliminate uh, all the answer choices where 1 is not present. So B goes out, C goes out and E goes out. Let's have a look at uh, the second statement. So P minus 3 will give you a minus 1. Uh, 4 minus 1 is 1, 6 minus 3 is 3, uh, 8 minus 3 is 5 and 10 minus 3 is 7. Let's see whether this is an arithmetic progression or not. The difference is 2, difference is 2, difference is 2 and difference is 2. 2 is also an arithmetic progression eliminating all the answer choices which does not have 2 in it. A goes out, what are you left with? D. You don't even have to check the third uh, statement. This is why eliminating the answer options as and when you get uh, a condition that a statement that can satisfy the condition you should eliminate the answer options and hence d is the answer